meeting is being recorded. <laughs> oh, My well, eardrums. That's, that's gonna be in the podcast. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is uh this is D with FG Nerd Talk, and I have a, a very cool guest with me. Uh Shirley Shirley. How's it going? Hi, I'm doing really well. How are you doing? I'm not too bad. I'm uh I'm I got a uh, a YouTube video going on in the background as I do this. It's always something different. But uh, my kids have been watching this sick fight video. I'm watching this in the background while I'm talking to you and looking up to you on my on my computer as we uh, have this conversation. And I got to ask, right yeah. off the bat, how did you get the name Shirley Shirley? It's a tongue twister for <laughs> one. Um, so uh, it's, it's a pretty uncommon name to have the name Shirley, especially someone like my age. And um, my dad was always super, super big into movies, uh, especially like comedies. And we did see, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Airplane with Leslie Nielsen. Don't call me Shirley. Uh, yeah. So um, little did I know that my entire life that would be the running joke of my name. Is that the so, only name, really? Yes. Like, oh no, like, goodness. it wasn't. No, my mom named me. My mom literally named me after Shirley Temple because she loved her oh. and thought she was such a cute, you know, person and such a great actress and stuff like that. And she was like, oh, I want my daughter to be adorable like her. Right. So, but because of that movie, Airplane, like my whole life, people will be like, oh, and don't call me Shirley, you know? And I was just kind of like, hmm, yes, I've never heard that before. Yeah, and um, <laughs> yeah, it's so original. So um, when I was trying to come up with my cosplay name, I was just like, I don't know. Like, I was like, I don't know, like what to do. Like, what about Shirley? And I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm gonna embrace. I'm gonna embrace the airplane joke I've literally heard every day of my entire life, and I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do Shirley Shirley because why not? And so nice. that's pretty much it. I've just embraced the uh, mockery of my name. Is, is all. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I like it. See, that's a that's a cool story behind your name. I heard a lot of people with, like different origin stories behind their name. That's uh, that's cute. I like that one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you also have like a, a litany of cosplays you've done. And <laughs> just, just looking at your different sites right now, from uh, from Gun Road to Fan uh, Funhouse to your TikTok to your Switch and Instagram, like you got like a whole slew of different cosplayers. So like I have so many questions about your cosplay, but I got to ask like what got you into it? Um what got me into it was I just went to an anime convention for the first time when I was uh, probably about, I think I was 18. And I was the only one who had a car. And my friends were like, do you want to go to an anime convention? I'm like, sure, it'll be my first one. Let's see what this is like. I'll drive, you know. And I went and didn't know what to expect. And I think it was Anime Festival Orlando, actually, which is still a running con in Florida. And I saw people dressed up in costumes and I, and they, some of them were like some of my favorite anime characters. Like I was like, oh, Kakashi, what? Oh my God. <laughs> um, so I, I was like, what is this? What is this? You know, and this is before like the internet was like such a huge thing. Like the biggest thing there was, I think was maybe face. Actually Facebook wasn't even a big thing then. Um, it was before be my Facebook. Future had even it was just my space exactly yeah. um so i was like i can dress up as my favorite character i can do this and my friends were like yeah of course and i was just kind of like all right i want to do this so um years went by and i finally decided to make my own first costume uh the first costume i actually ever made was uh xena warrior princess because no she's like my absolute idol yes i was very adventurous I, I don't know why i was like let me do a really hard armored cosplay <laughs> as like in leather with like you know all these straps and let me just do that like i was very uh 
adventurous. Uh, but it worked out. I really liked that cosplay too. So but since then, like you've done so many, you've done like like America, uh, Chavez. You've done mm-hmm. like a uh, done a lot of different Naruto characters. You've done like some My Hero Academia characters. You've done like a lot of different costumes since then. And you also mentioned that you recognize some characters from certain animes. So, like you've been in the anime like long before you've been in the cosplays. What you're telling me. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was super. I was actually into manga before I was into oh, anime. Um, I was always an avid reader. Um, I would read tons of books. My mom would take. She, my mom had four kids, so she would just take us all to the library and just be like, "Go pick out some books. You get two each." Um, and I eventually found manga and started reading that, and got my sisters hooked onto manga. Um, and then I found out that they had turned them into cartoons, which were called anime. And I was super stoked about that. And um, my mom, not so much. She was like, I don't understand your obsession with these cartoons. What's going on here? Um, but <laughs> um, but the, t- the times have changed. So she's embraced me for who I am and my, uh, my uh, simpness here. <laughs> does, she, does she watch with you? Um, no, she doesn't. Uh, but she definitely loves the sewing and creating aspect of it. Um, my mom grew up as a seamstress um, in South America. And as a young child, she taught my sisters and I how to sew. So like, I already knew like how to sew my own Barbie doll clothes and, and do like stuff like that. Um, whenever my mom would go shopping, if we found like clothes that like you know discount outlets and stuff like that that had like holes or rips in it and she got it for really cheap and it was really nice she would fix it herself and she would repair it she would even mod our clothes too if we wanted so like wow. you know little did I know I had like my own seamstress at my disposal Apparently. and whim yeah <laughs> at all times um, but she loves being involved with me with cosplay because she likes to see um, you know and help me create my costumes pattern them out and completely make them and then she loves seeing the finished product with the photos that I take afterwards too oh so she's a fan with filming she is she's a fan of me she's a fan of my cosplay I would say but she still has no idea like she's like Inunasha huh she's like uh she the Akatsuki clouds she calls them the red clouds um so she she tries she tries (laughs) (laughs) that's, that's all that matters sometimes right Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> and you also have like a lot of detail to your costumes. Uh, you said you did like your first one with Xena. And I see this right now. If you guys go to her page, it's pretty far back. Um, I think it goes back to 2013. Is it far yes. back as this costume goes? My goodness. Very wow. far. <laughs> you, are, you are a legend at this. My word. And uh, you got like some pretty detailed ones also. Like uh, I see one that, that really caught my eye was Krang. From yes. Oh my like, God. How, how did that come to be? <laughs> how? Um, so m- one of my best friends at the time, she, uh, she, she doesn't really cosplay anymore, but she was like, I want to do shredder. And I was like, cool. I want to do Krang. And she was like, how are you going to do that? And I was like, I don't know, but I'm going to figure out a way. <laughs> um, and I was like, first, obviously my, I really need to like, how do I make Krang? So he's half of a styrofoam ball chopped in like chopped in half like a sphere and then covered in clay and then afterwards I was like how am I supposed to bake him there's styrofoam inside um because <laughs> it was heated clay obviously didn't think that step through um so I had to blow dry him I baked him by blow drying him um but it ended up working out it, you know I didn't get good. to the styrofoam yeah, yeah and I, I still ended up cooking the clay um hand painted him and I loved him I was like wow he looks so good he's so veiny and mm-hmm. so pink and mm-hmm. um I was in love with it and I was like now I gotta create this box that was awful I hated making that box that thing was terrible um and figuring yes. out how am I gonna hold this thing up <laughs> you got some good pictures out of it it's okay to say the person you, uh, you. did the cosplay with um uh, her name is Heather Leet I don't know if she has any social medias anymore Heather um I believe. yes one three three seven um yeah. 
So she, uh, I loved my Krang and I would wear it when it's like my favorite part about wearing that cosplay to conventions was like the nostalgia on people's faces. They'd be like, hold on, wait, who, what? Oh my God, you're Krang. And it's like, like they'd put the pieces together and I'm like, yeah, I'm the Krang and the droid. And they're just like, oh my God. Like, and I had, I remember this one dad had his like little boys with him and he was, they were like, kids, kids, do you see who she is? Do you see she, and I was like, these kids aren't going to know who Krang is like, you know, but I forgot that TMNT at that time was airing and has Krang in it. And they turned around and were like, oh my God, you're Krang. So it was like priceless. I was like, you did a good job raising these kids. That's yes, awesome. You good job on you. Good job on you, sir. <laughs> oh no, you're frozen. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, I rolled it for a bit. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, my connection oh, sorry, is unstable, you... it seems. Yeah. Ah, Hopefully I, see you. I see and hear you now, though. All right, good. If it does drop, I'll, uh, I'll pause it. We'll come back and we'll start from there. But, uh, Okay. We'll go. We'll go on with it from here. And uh, you, you have like a lot of costumes I said before, and you just told me this awesome story about you and Crane. But is there any costume that like that just was too much for you? Like you still did it anyway. You, you made it the way you wanted to, but like, with just uh, with just like a rough go for you. Um. Hmm. I have so many costumes. I don't I like know. That. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think. What is a hard costume that I really did not have fun making? Um, actually, I'm going to have to say um, my Tyrande, I, I had a lot of fun. So Tyrande is from World of Warcraft. Um, This meeting is being recorded. Part two. All right. We are we are back. And uh, sorry about that, the hiccup there, guys. But uh, you told me about like, like the costume, uh, Toronto from World of Warcraft, that was like your most difficult to make. Um, so I loved all the pieces individually, and I thought they came out super beautifully and so well. Um, but I put so much energy into doing the armor that I didn't put as much energy into the dress. And the dress is just like this dress, basic dress from Amazon. And when I put all the pieces on top of this basic dress, I was like, this doesn't look how I wanted it to look. <laughs> like, it was just kind of like I threw this designer bag over um, a Walmart sheet. Ooh. Like, I was just kind of like, I'm not happy with this. Um, so I would say that's probably like my most disappointed I've ever been while creating a costume. Um, I still have all the pieces and hope to, you know, one day make like a beautiful dress to go with the pieces because I do love them and, and think I did a great job on them. I just, I just needed to do better. That's all. It's like, it's like, <laughs> a, it's like a future pet project for yourself. Something like to look forward to. Exactly. Exactly. I like that. That's good. Like, you like a, it's going to be an awesome story when you really bring that costume together then. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Uh, now, I'm looking at your photographs still, and um, I've noticed like, the progression of your costumes. You've, uh, you've always been a very beautiful person, and you've always, like, you know, photographed very well. But uh, it seems like over the years, you've, um, you've had more fun taking photographs of yourself. You've seemed like to put yourself out there a little bit more more um how do i put this alluringly yeah like you, you consider yes. yourself to be a plus size cosplayer you all about body positivity but yeah. you're, you're not you don't shy away from showing off yourself if i can say that yeah. like um what when did that start um you know i just started to hang out with really beautiful talented cosplayers and I would see them model and when we would do photo shoots together, I was just kind of like, I want to do what they're doing. And like they, the amount, cause I've always prided myself on somebody who is like great confidence, but I never really, um, I guess, taken that leap to really be like, okay, yeah, I am beautiful, but I'm also going to like show off my curves. I'm going to feel comfortable and confident and, 
and, and even like sexy, you know, like I wanted to be like, I can be sexy just like my friends are, um, even if I'm not the same size as them. So I kind of, as I, the more I hung out with them, I just, uh, started to feel comfortable and it's really great having friends that make you feel so comfortable with yourself like literally even if you're the only plus size person in the room surrounded by beautiful like I don't know six foot tall gorgeous women um, these women like had a way of just really making like knowing like oh you're gorgeous you're great no you do this like here and help they helped me find my angles Um, it was really helpful that they were also you know photographers and they shot themselves and they shot each other so they would help me like, I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to do this angle because I've got five chins. No, that's not going to work because, you know, this and that. And they were like, no, 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 let's try this. And then let's move the camera here. So they really helped me get more comfortable in front of the camera um, and really see myself in a different light and um, see myself as, yes, I'm what kind of cosplays I was willing to do. This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought I it's thought okay. my connection was going off again, so I thought I had to pause before it. <laughs> but we're good. It's okay. Um, you know, it just, it, it really um, helped me to cross, cross over and just kind of embrace that. See, I like that. That's, that's a really, that's a really nice story. And like, I'm looking at your photographs as you say this to me. And like, these are mostly your photographs from, I think they're from 2018 to now. And like, you can just see the progression of yourself. Like from, I went all the way back to the beginning of your, your stuff from 2012 (laughs) to now. And like, like I said, you've been at this for a while and like the progression of yourself. And I've been following you for at least two years now. And like, you've been, you've been doing a lot. And I mean that in like in the most positive way possible. Like you've been doing a lot. You've been like just putting yourself out there. You've been like, having fun like every time i see you do something different like it's a smile on your face unless the character doesn't have fun on their face and like but it still looks like you're having fun it's like so being around those women to uh to to put that that second level or third level of confidence inside of you it seems like you really paid off because they're they were patient yeah. they listened to you yeah. it's nice that's good <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> Like, uh, I'm really grateful for all of them because, like, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have, like, what we have now, which is, like, you know, the surely show that we we are talking with right now. And, like, I'm, I'm grateful for this. Like, it's really it's really awesome for all of this that you got going on. But that's a question I want to ask you to ask everyone who's on my show is you've been doing this for a while, for almost over two, almost almost a decade. Jeez, yeah. It's, 20, it's 2022. You've been doing this since 2012. Like, almost a decade. And... Yeah. Some of the people have been helping you out with this. You got so many different pages. Uh, like I said, Fan House, you got the, the Gum Road, you got an Etsy, you have a Twitch, Amazon Wishlist, you have a, a digital photo. Uh, I guess that's Gum Road. You got a TikTok. You got so many people like, who follow you on all different platforms. What would you want to say to all those people? Um, I mean, it's, it's really just on how you want to do it. Um, the only reason I have um, so many different outlets, um, for, you know, whether it's people buying my photo sets or subscribing to me on my Patreon, or, um, even just giving me a, you know, coffee on coffee. Um, it's, um, I like to put whatever I get from there back into my cosplay, back into my creativity. Um, and I have fun with it. Um, the most fun I have is, when I just do characters that I love or fandoms that I love, you know, things that I care about, um, that's what makes me feel closest. And I feel like people can tell the difference when you genuinely like or love something that you do versus just doing it for the money. Yeah. Um, I, I don't really make, I don't make money off of this. Um, everything I get goes right back into it. And it's something that I absolutely love to do. And I think that good, right? shows. Yeah, it does. It really does. Whew, that's good. That's, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Like, you're just like, yeah, I, I felt, I felt that. Like, as a creator yeah. myself, like, I, <laughs> I, I hear you. Like, you know, you just, it goes back into what you're doing and like, you just keeps on recycling itself. And 
Yeah. Like it doesn't. It doesn't really stop. Exactly. Exactly. You do have like a lot of tattoos, also. Like, a, like one of the most notable ones is that mm-hmm. X Men tattoo on your shoulder. Yes. Mm-hmm. How, how many yeah, tattoos do you have all together? Ooh, I always forget um, because I have so many on my back, so I can't see them every day. Um, it's really funny because when I go out to like theme parks and stuff, I'll wear like tank tops and people are like, oh my God, your tattoo. And I'm like, what? Wait, which one? What? what are you talking about? <laughs> um, and they're like, oh, Gudetama. Oh, Bob's Burgers. Um, I think I have one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. I might have nine or 10. I'm getting another one. My friend just, uh, my friend just bought a tattoo for me for my birthday recently. Um, she actually hired a, a really awesome anime and kawaii tattoo artist down here in South Florida. And I'm like, so stoked. She's such a, uh, her, uh, her Instagram name is Art by Kayla Rose, and her tattoos are absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna get my first tattoo of um, of uh, a husband doe. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna get Hawks uh, from My Hero Academia tattooed on my leg, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> oh, I see her work. Wow, it's very vivid. Right? Isn't it stunning? Wow. Like I see her Demon Slayer mm-hmm. and her Pokemon. My goodness, the colors are just pop, don't they? Yes. Wow. Yes. All right. So I'm well, excited for that. You gotta give us a tour someday. Like do your do your TikTok or on Instagram. <laughs> you got yellow you see these these awesome inks. Cause like you got boss burgers. Like that was a that was a green flag right there. Ding ding. <laughs> it's actually um it's a Bob's Burgers tattoo. So it's the three kids, and they're actually dressed up as Lock, Shock, and Barrel from Nightmare Before Christmas. So they're on Halloween. That's Christmas. awesome. Yes. <laughs> it's like a crossover. <laughs> I dig it. I, I hardcore dig that. All right, Shirley, this has been this has been so awesome. I'm really glad to have you on. Uh, I hope to have you on again sometime in the future, also. And like keep doing yourself, keep creating work. And um, like, I, I just, I love your stuff. Is there anywhere people you want people to find? I know I mentioned a lot of different places, but where, where can people definitely find you no matter what? Um, they can definitely find me on my Instagram. I do try to answer my DMs as much as possible. Um, so, you know, it's, it's sometimes it gets lost in the filter. So at least once a month, I try to go through it. Um, but my Instagram is basically where I'm at every single day. So I appreciate, you know, all the love and support and just want to continue making awesome stuff that people like. So awesome. And I would definitely put the links to all of these pages inside the show notes for here and YouTube. Uh, Shirley Shirley Cosplay. Make sure you check her out. Shirley, thank you so much for being on. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye.